in machine is used, example two. In machine is used to lift a load, example two. In machine is used to lift a load of 20 newton. A machine is used to lift a load of 20 newton through a height of 10 meter. Full stop. Through a height of 10 meter. Full stop. Through a height of 10 meters. Full stop. If the efficiency of the machine is 40%, if the efficiency of the machine is 40%, Comma. How much work is done? Question mark. How much work is done? Question mark. Here are your options. How much work is done? Question mark. Let's work this out. Okay, so one please. List out your given parameters. What am I giving this? I'm giving the load. Capital L, how many? 20, 20 newton. Next up. Height. Uh, okay. What does the height represent? Because usually in a we didn't mention it like height in a sentence. So here is a height. What does the height represent? Huh? Which distance? There are two distances. Is it that of the load or that of the effort? So they say lift a load. So you're lifting a load. So what's moving up there is the load. Right. So lift a load of 20 newton through a height. That becomes what? Distance that the load moved. Because distance moved by load. That's small n. Abby? Yes. How many there? 10 meters. Full stop. If the efficiency of the machine is 40%, they gave you E as being equal to what there? 40%. Comma. How much work is done? Work done, W, is equal to or no. Alright, so how do you solve this one? How do you solve this? How much work is done? So no. How do we solve this? When it comes to work done, that's, that's what, one thing about jam is that they are not too straightforward. But the question is actually simple, but they're not straightforward. Now, we say how much work is done. If you look at all what we've done so far, there are two types of work done. Work input and work in there, work output. So when they say how much work is done, is it the work input or is it work output? The input output. If it's input, why? If it's output, why? We mentioned two work done, work output, work input. How much work is done? Is it the work input they're asking for or is it work output? So you just have to think about the stuff there, all right? Let's look at this way, look up. Recall something. Recall something. Look up. Recall something. What's your formula? Efficiency is equal to, is it work output over work input or work input over work output? Work output on the word there. Work input obviously times 100%. Now, we said what's work output? What's your, what's your uh, formula? Load times what? Distance by load. Question with what I'm giving here, can I find work output? Yes or no? Yes, I can find work output. What's work output there? Load times distance by load. With what I'm giving here, can I find work input? No. What's work input? Effort times what? Distance moved by effort. Any effort here? No. Distance moved by effort here? No. Hence, I'm about to find work there. Work input. Find what? So hence, I'll have that E is equal to set is load. That's the work output. Load times distance moved by load. So capital L times small L. All over work input is supposed to be effort times distance moved by effort, but this value is not given. So my work input is unknown times 
100% in huge value. So it's about how many? 40. So 40 is equal to what we have to the 40 percent. It's equal to load in Newton 20 times distance by load 10 all over work input. Work input times 100 percent. This is it. At this point, it's mathematically correct to cancel this and this. The idea is if I have the same thing multiplying both sides, they can cancel out. That's the idea. Right? Um, let's say 2 is equal to 4 for instance. Multiply this by 2. Okay, let's say, let's have this. Let's say 1 is equal to 2. Let's just assume. Right? Multiply this by 2. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2 times 2. This is what then? 2 being equal to 4. Multiply again by 2. This is what then? 4 being equal to 8. So I'm saying this. If I have the same thing, multiplying both sides, then question, this can cancel it. And I'm still having 1 being equal to 2. That's the concept. So in mathematics, it's correct. If I have the same thing, multiplying both sides, I can simply count them out. And the same thing. Alright, let's work out this one. Here. This gives you 40 being equal to, see, 200. 200 times 100 gives you what there? 20,000 all over what there? Work input, right? This, this, this gives you 20,000 all over work input. How do you get work input? What do you get? You can see, uh, if you want to cross multiply, yeah? This times 40, this times this, but the shortcut is this. These two we can change. So it means that work input is now equal to this 20,000 all over this one here, 40. If you want, you can say work input times 40 is equal to this times this. Divide this by 40. We're we'll trying to conserve space. Right? Or simply these two switch. So come this way. So walk in will become this from this from having this. So this is now equal to this cancel this. Two here one or four here one. Four here one there. Five. This one there. Five hundred. Work done is measured in joule. So five hundred joule. That's this one here. So that's the answer. So I think I'll copy down please. Five hundred joule. Please, if you have a question, they know how, but how do you analyze it? Please, if you have a question, please, if you ask, 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 ask. So how do we write physics exam with the too many formulas? What do you do? You practice the formulas. That's how you know them. Fact is this: if you practice the formula, use them over and over again. You cover with them. That's a fact. So it's not like saying the more you practice, the more you get used to it. Yes. I was telling my guys. I said, I said, retention only comes by what repetition. When something over and over and over again. Cannot forget it. It's possible for you to know all the formulas. It's very possible. Right? One of the things you can never forget in this world is how to spell your name. No matter how dull somebody claims to be, the person can never forget how to spell your person's name. Why? Because right from secondary school, primary, primary, uh, secondary school days, primary school, um, your first your first time in primary school, you have 13 subjects. So we're offering 15 subjects. Use your hand to write your name in manual. The next book there, in manual, the next book there, in manual. Minimum 15 times. Go to test. You try to show people what you're doing now. In manual, what are you doing? You're repeating it over and over and over again. You cannot forget it. That's it. Apply the same concept to solving problems. Imagine on this question or this topic on machines, you can solve on your own. You've solved like 50 questions on your own or just machine. Tell me how you see the question you forget. There's no how. 
So how many questions have you solved? That's the question. All the ones we've been so far, all the topics we've been solved. How how many questions have you sat down? You say, let me solve a question on how to name compounds. How many? How many? The more you practice, the more you know. Retention caused by what? Repetition. That's my formula. All right. By the way, let's uh, proceed. Let's take one more question. You look at the part B of machines. The part B of machines now be how to analyze different machines. We we'll give you a pulley, a block and tackle system, whatever. We we'll several machines. The, the screw jack, everything, right? Look at this last one. Then we we'll proceed. Take that one. Take a pass Take that one. A block and tackle. A block and tackle is used. A block and tackle. Block. B L O C K and tackle T A C K L E. A block and tackle is used to raise a load. A block and tackle is used to raise a load of 250 newton. Is used to raise a load of 250 newton through a vertical distance. Through a vertical distance of 30 meters. Through a vertical distance of 30 meters. Full stop. What is the efficiency of the machine? What is the efficiency of the machine? If the work done against friction, if the work done against friction is 1,500 joules, if the work done against friction is 1,500 joules. Distance load by load, that small m has been equal to 30 meter. Next up, what is the efficiency of the machine if the work done against friction? So let me see WDF. Right, work done against friction is equal to 1500 joules. What is the efficiency? Efficiency is unknown. Alright, so how do we solve this? Efficiency is unknown. How do we solve this? They give us the load as this. Give us, uh, what do you call it? Distance by load. Vertical distance of 30 meters. Give us work done against friction as 1500 joule. Give us efficiency, or we ask for efficiency. How do you find efficiency? What do you do? Which one are you using? So you think, you tell me. You can tell me. Okay, so. So in this case, you're saying efficiency of E. So in this case, you're saying record that efficiency of E is equal to work output all over work input times 100%. Okay, so what next? What's work output? What's work input? So what, 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 what? Alright, so we are saying that work out is equal to load times distance moved by load. All the work then. Work in times 100%. In total value, this one is unknown. You have to find this. So it's now equal to what capital L F? 250. So 250 times distance moved by how many then? 30. That's this all over work input times what then? 100 percent. So that's still E or no? Still E is now equal to what do you get here? 
everything here, or just one? Just one. Uh, 15, 5, 5, 1, 6, 7, 7, 5, 0, 0. Are they? Yes. All right, all over. Walk in both times. 100%. Okay, so what next? Just walk in both. How do you walk in both? Exactly. Exactly. So check, I give you a formula for this. What do I say? I say that walk in both. Recall this. You can say record. Record and say walk in both. You got the word there. Walk out foot plus what there? Walk done and this was there. Bring shot. I said this. So hence, the walk in is now equal to what walk out to there? 7,500 plus what walk that is bring shot there? 1,500. Add up these two. 0, 0, 0, 9. 9,000 joules. This is the value for what? Walking boat. So here's my work input. Alright, so with this now, I can now calculate efficiency. So hence, efficiency P is now equal to 7500 all over work input, which we got as 9,100 percent. Equal to this, this, this is of I'm having 7500 all over 90 in percent. This cancels this. What else here? Yeah? 3. Um, what do you get there? Yeah, Everything here? Yeah? 7, 750 over 9. What do you get there? 333. That's 83.3 percent. Right? 750 over 9. Percent. This one gives you 83.3%. That's what you're doing there. Alright, so that's how it works. Alright, so now she's not really like just for you to know how to play with these formulas. You get your main stuff. Alright, so that's it. Alright, let's look at the part B of machines. Look at the various types of machines and how to utilize them.